Outer Armor brand built by Commercial Sewing produces the best boat covers in the market. Please join us as we walk through the simple installation of a mooring cover. Begin by unpacking the box. The box contains the cover, the anti-pooling system, instructions, a carrying bag and sticker. The cover is folded and rolled, so it will unroll and fold out from bow to stern. Begin by installation of the anti-pooling system. This installation video will show installation of the anti-pooling system while installing the cover. Now you are ready to line up the cover with the front of the bow. Make sure to line the bow seam of the cover with the center point of the bow. Unroll the cover back to the windshield and rest the cover up and over the windshield Place the front, shorter pole, anti-pooling system pole vertically and walk back through the windshield. Close the windshield and keep tension on the webbing of the anti-pooling system as you close the windshield. Unfold the cover and be sure to position the cover over the rub rail on each side of the boat. Connect the openings around the bimini, tower or arch depending on your model of boat. Boats with a four post tower or bimini will have four openings and an arch style boat will have two openings. Undo the velcro cover for the buckle. Unclip the buckle and undo the opening fully. As you reconnect the velcro, be sure to completely overlap and line each side perfectly vertical as this will ensure the cover fits tight and smooth. Reconnect the buckle and wrap with the buckle covering. Finalize the installation of the anti-pooling system. Connect the webbing to the stern cleats. Pull the tension evenly by alternating from port to starboard, being sure it is very tight. This usually tilts the rear pole, so be sure to reposition the pole vertically prior to unfolding the cover to the stern. Connect the back bimini openings. Unroll the cover back to the stern. Check each ratchet to be sure they are released and completely unspooled. Pull the cover over the rub rail and connect the confidence straps to the trailer strap tie-down eyes. The confidence straps will hold the cover over the rub rail while you ratchet the cover tight in the next step. Unzip the ratchet pockets and begin the process of tightening the cover onto the boat. As you begin to ratchet, be sure to ratchet a few times on each side until tension becomes apparent. At this point, alternate from starboard to port one click at a time. This assures you keep the ratchets as centered in the ratchet pocket as possible. Ratchet each side until it becomes very difficult to gain a click. Move to the side of the boat to do a simple tension test. The tension test will ensure that your cover is at the correct tension to tow or stow your boat. Pull the cover an inch or two from the boat and release. You should hear a loud snap. If not, continue ratcheting till the snap is loud and clear. Loosen the confidence straps. At this point, you are ready to tow or stow your boat. Removing the cover. When removing the cover, unclip the confidence straps first. Open the ratchet pockets and release the tension and unspool each of the ratchets. Be sure to zip the ratchet pockets closed to ensure the ratchets don't damage your boat. Undo the openings around the bimini tower or arch openings and be sure to wrap the buckles in the velcro casing again to ensure they don't contact the sides of the boat. 
Fold the starboard side and the port side evenly to the center of the boat up to the windshield. Crawl under the windshield to remove the cover from the bow of the boat. Be sure to continue the same fold to the center of the boat. And do your best to keep the weight of the cover centered over the webbing of the anti-pooling system. Walk back under the windshield to the rear of the boat. Begin rolling the cover to the stern of the boat much like how you would roll up a sleeping bag. Be sure to roll the cover while maintaining the center over the anti-pooling system. Put your cover in your storage bag and store in a clean, dry place.